Okay, I just got to New Zealand and I'm feeling absolutely insane right now. Everything was going great, except my cousin who's supposed to be meeting me from the US was like, oh, my flight's delayed. Then her second flight was delayed. And then it was like one day she was gonna be late. Then maybe two, all this chaos is happening. Then I decided to watch the white Christmas episode of Black Mirror. So into it, so into it. And then I'm sitting at the wrong gate. I just like looked at the screen and was like, oh yeah, gate 35. It wasn't gate 35. Like it definitely was gate 32. So then I'm sitting there, there's no sign on the screen to gate 35. And I'm like, it's gate 35. It's like 11 o'clock. My flight's supposed to leave at 11.35. I'm like, let me just go to the bathroom. Like maybe they're boarding late. So then I hear after I get out of the bathroom at 11.07, they're like last passenger alert this flight. I literally finally checked the flight number and it was the number and I was like, oh my God, I'm at the wrong gate. So I go up and I was like, yeah, is this the flight? The lady goes, where were you? We almost just took you off the flight. And I was just like, honestly, I was just at the wrong gate. I'm so sorry, I'm annoyed. Like everyone's seated, all the things are closed. Thank God I didn't miss the flight. <sighs> Realize that I didn't set up like a phone plan where I'd have data in New Zealand. What else is going on? Picked this zit on my face like the day before. So now I have this going on on my face, whatever, still fine. I don't know what's happening to me. I used to be so prepared. Just to add to all that. So I've been taking anxiety medication for five months, been working great. Since I moved to Australia, I have to like order online through like an online health company. Thought I had more, only have two days left. I don't know. Like, so now we might have like a mental health crisis coming up, like. And last but not least, I feel like I got beat up because I injured my wrist doing sports this past week. And last night I had an arm wrestle face off with Kat using that wrist knowingly and was just like, I just told my mom on the phone about how I like almost missed my flight and then also I told her about my anxiety medication thing and she's like this is so not like you like you used to plan everything out and I'm like I don't even know who I am anymore does anybody else feel that way and my cousin gets in tomorrow morning thank god it wasn't delayed two days and thank god we got this private room she found this hostel where we decided to stay at live I think it's called pronounced um so can't wait to show you New Zealand I think this city feels a little bit more familiar to what I would see in the US. Basically, I'm basically just crossing the highway to get to this freaking nail salon. Walking and driving on the left side of the road still goes here. It's definitely hot. Um, again, like this is summer and it's January and Sydney's been like excruciating. It doesn't feel like humid like that. Lately when I've been traveling, I've really been trying to stay off my phone just because I actually don't ever really want to be on it. I just fall into a habit of it. And it was like this vicious cycle of like, anxiety or something. Loki, should I get Subway? I literally keep forgetting that I'm not in Australia. I also forgot to put on deodorant again. I do this like every day. Guys, no it's not open. I guess I'm just gonna go back and um, eat a burger at the restaurant at the hostel. Like, I would like to be cool and go to a bar or something. All these places are cool, but like, I don't know if I have that in me today to be cool like that. I tried to go a different way, I got lost, so. I can't wait to see this tomorrow when stuff's open again. I wanna go into a bar. Should I just go in? I don't know. Also just realizing now I'm an 18 hour time difference from home. conditioner because I was hoping that Audrey would bring some so I think tomorrow is gonna be a hair up day the latest update is she's coming now <clears throat> set up tomorrow morning Tuesday morning and that's when we fly from Auckland to Queenstown so she'll just have to stay in the airport and fly right to Queenstown on our flight I feel so bad for her It is like 8.30 at night. It's 8.30 a.m. I'm so tired. I didn't get any sleep. Maybe like four hours. Ooh. I think this might be one of the most depressing walks I've had while traveling in a new city. 
aside from when I studied abroad in college, probably, I'm sure something depressing happened then. I just wish Audrey was here. As sad as I am, she's 10 times more sad than me, so. I just want Cali Press and it's permanently closed. It's literally closed. Okay, now I feel like everyone's walking on the right hand side. I'm confused. I think I'm gonna send my family like a really dramatic postcard. Guys, what the hell? Just got this from the grocery store and I found a stick deodorant, which normally is just the sprayer roll on, so that's like a big thing. This smoothie actually tastes like shit. I did not last very long barefoot. why I got that muffin. This is like the bit. <sighs> I can't even talk. Then since I got it for there, I felt like I had to eat the whole thing. How did I end up here? I'm really just existing on this planet right now. Like I have no job, no plans. Like I'm literally just like out here. Also, I've been spending a lot of money for not having a job. Okay, when I left this morning, I was like really into my outfit. I thought I looked cute. But now I feel like uh, I look like absolute garbage, especially after walking barefoot. I was like, I don't look good. I don't look like how I thought, but I even took a picture. That's how good I thought I looked. But then I just got in the elevator with this girl and she's like, we're matching. So I hope she doesn't see this. But since I was barefoot, I need to shower now, so. Because... I've been dying to use a deodorant like this. Like my skin's really sensitive and just doesn't do good with anything I've been putting on it. <clears throat> yeah, it feels amazing. All right, I'm gonna take a nap and I'm just gonna sleep. I was gonna go to that one island that starts with a W that you go to from Auckland, but I like feel like a walking zombie, so I wouldn't even enjoy it. And this is why your expectations have to be so low. Okay, it's 4.30. I just woke up from my, like, four-hour nap. I have a headache from being dehydrated. And all I've done today is get my nails done and eat a muffin. So, yeah.